Hello everyone, my name is Wes Perrington and I'm a second year master's student at the Colorado School of Mines, studying under Dr. Bruce Trudgill. So my focus in grad school is on salt tectonics and its effects on sedimentation with a specific focus on salt tectonics in the Eagle Basin of West Central Colorado. So before going any further, I just wanted to take a second to express my sincere appreciation for the donors of the SCPM Student Research Funds. Um, without the support of donors such as yourselves, this project would not have been possible. So because I have a particularly field, um, field work intensive project, funding provided by SCPM has allowed me to camp upwards of five weeks in and around Aspen, Colorado. It's provided support for travel and expenses and will allow me to have samples taken in the field, cut into thin sections for further characterization. And so now on to my research. Well, my master's thesis project is focused on investigating the potential of a long-lived phase of salt tectonics in the Eagle Evaporite Basin of Central Colorado. So there's been little previous work concerning any phase of salt tectonics in this region prior to the layer mitorogeny. However, this basin shares many similarities with the coeval neighboring Paradox Basin and other salt basins globally. So here we can see over thickened stratigraphic sequences that have characteristics similar to salt withdrawal many basins across the world, complex uh, structural geometries due to the diapyric movement of salt, and of particular interest to this study area, shortened salt structures reactivated by laramide-related deformation. And then lastly, distinct local stratigraphic units, which we hope to incorporate into a more regional stratigraphic understanding. So fortunately for us, this area has been previously mapped in detail. However, this was conducted at a time before the theory of salt dynamics had become commonplace. And many of the complex halokinetic related features in this area were poorly interpreted. Now because of this, we are using field-based methods to supplement what has previously been mapped and construct an interpretation honoring the modern day theory of salt dynamics. So this is being done by taking countless structural measurements, um, taking key measured sections, and ultimately generating 2D restorations to begin to place together uh, the tectonic evolution of this region. And with all this being said, I'm currently just sitting um, northeast of downtown Aspen on a geologic feature known as Red Butte. So I thought this would be a great place to record this quick video as it is both in the heart of my study area and a location at which I can point out some interesting features of which I'm studying. So first and foremost, Red Butte, the feature which I'm sitting on, is in fact an entirely overturned Jurassic and Triassic sequence, specifically overturned up to 40 degrees. And you may be able to see that in the bedding behind me. Now, additionally to my right, um, you'll find some of the oldest rock units in the region sitting at the surface against this entire overturned panel. Now, these features are fairly classic halokinetic features associated with shortened diapyric structures and are situated along strike with an elongate, previously mapped fault zone that conveniently has salt sitting at the surface farther to the northeast in that direction. And bottom line, you know, this Eagle Basin is a world-class location for studying salt tectonics and related halokinetic features. Now, what I'm most excited about uh, concerning this project is the overall potential of continued research in this basin. So the ease of access being only a few hours from Denver, coupled with incredible outcrop exposures, um, will make subsequent, more detail-oriented studies very successful. And lastly, while I'm not the first to propose this phase of salt tectonics, I do hope to shed light on the much more complex than previously believed tectonic history of Colorado. And with that, I would just like to say thank you again for your support one more time. And I look forward to continuing my research. Um, so please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about my work or would like to have any more information given to you. And with that, I'll conclude with showing you all a nice view of the downtown Aspen area.